Hey, what's up guys, Zach here. Today I'm doing like a general video for you guys on creatine. Um, I've done a review before on, cell, on uh, Muscle Tech Cell Tech creatine packs. Uh, you guys know that I like that product a lot and I support it. I think that you guys should try it too if you're looking to get good gains. But creatine in general is like one of the fastest growing products on the market that everyone's trying to get, take, uh, that sort of thing. And I'm just doing this video to tell people what kind of creatine you should be taking so you aren't wasting your money, when to take your creatine, uh, what times of the day, like what you, should, what you should have with your creatine, that sort of thing, so you get the maximum benefits from it. All right, so let's get started. First off, creatine is, it's basically, your body produces it naturally, but in low amounts. Um, that's what, like when you start lifting weights, you don't get that, uh, that swell feeling right away in your muscles, like you don't get f fatigued right away, like on your first couple reps, it's more like after a few sets that you start feeling it, and that's because of the creatine. Um, it's found in red meats. Uh, you can get it in steak. I think that there's like five grams for every like two pounds of red meat. So you got to eat a lot of steak basically and that has a lot of saturated fats and that sort of stuff. So you don't want to just load up on red meats. Uh, so they make creatine products. Uh, there's pill forms. There's uh, powder forms too that you can mix either with water. I think mo like most of the ones out there are uh, they aren't flavored at all. So you can just like mix them in your protein shake. Uh, but what I found and what I from what I've learned is that the best kind of creatines to take aren't just a like one basic kind of creatine. It's creatine mixtures that work the best. Uh, like you can go in the GNC or Vitamin Shop or online or any of those places, and you can just buy creatine monohydrate, which works perfectly well. Creatine monohydrate is like the classic creatine. Um, it's been around since uh, 20 some years, I don't know, probably longer, since they first started coming out with creatine products. That's the one that everyone's used, trusted, that sort of thing. But creatine monohydrate, a lot of side effects is that it, it it swells your cells and your muscles up with water, which is what it's supposed to do. But a lot of people don't want to put on like 10, 15 pounds of water weight and then they look all like bloated looking walking around. A lot of people don't like that. So they started coming out with all these different kinds of creatines and stuff. And to tell you the truth, most of them don't really work as well as they claim to do. Uh, they all say that they work like 100 times better or 500% better than creatine monohydrate or whatever like they may say, but that's just advertising BS. They really don't work that well at all. Um, but yeah, the kind of creatine that I've been taking for actually a while now, it's worked really well for me, is uh, Muscle Tech, Cell Tech Power Packs. Uh, and let me break this down for you guys. It has two main types of creatine. It has Crea Pro, which is a mixture of creatine monohydrate classic creatine and creatine phosphate and omega phosph phosphocreatine and it also has a lot of other ingredients in it it has cell ball which contains taurine and l-glutamine um, and alpha ketoglutarite uh, it has an amino cell which is l-leucine l-isoleucine and l-valine it also has glycine and l-arginine and uh, alpha lip lipoic acid uh, so, I mean, it has a bunch of other stuff in here. It has, has some more um, ginseng extract, uh, cinnamon, and uh, L-arginine pyroglutamate. And uh, that's basically the ingredient list for this. But this is a great creatine because it has a m mixture of a lot of stuff rather than just like one type of creatine. Another creatine that I want to try, and I've heard a lot of good things about, is Beast Nutrition's uh, Crea Pro Creature, Creature Creatine. I've heard a lot of good things about that one. I'm going to give it a try over the summer when I go home. And, but yeah, getting back to like the creatine in general, you want to mainly take creatine post-workout. And when you take it post-workout, like when you take the pill form like, like this, you get the one little pack, there's five pills in there. And a lot of people say that post-workout to get like the most out of it, that's like your best time to have like a cheat meal. Well, for endomorphs, you don't want to go out and eat like a couple donuts or chips or just anything to spike your insulin. You want something very simple, a very simple sugar, a, a simple carbohydrate to, bo to boost your insulin and then you can get your good protein shake and your creatine into your muscles. So I advise that you take it with like, I like apple juice and that's a simple sugar. It gets, gets in my bloodstream very easily, boosts up my insulin and then my creatine and my protein can go to restoring my body and starting to build up my muscle rather than like being used as energy. So I like to take like, I'll take like an eight ounce glass of uh, apple juice with my creatine right after I work out. Uh, and then I'll drink a little, some water, get that taste out of my mouth and I'll go and drink my protein shake when I get back to my room. And that's 
that works perfect for me because I can spike my insulin, but at the same time, I'm not getting a lot of fat and tons of carbohydrates. Like if you're an ectomorph, go ahead. You can go out and have a good cheat meal, eat some donuts, that sort of thing. Mesomorphs probably cut it back a little bit, but I mean, you can still have more of a cheat meal, but endomorphs, you don't really want to have a big cheat meal um, because you're just going to end up hurting yourself in the long run. Um, and yeah, basically the best time to take creatine is right after your workout. That's by far the best time to take it. Um, on, on the days that you don't work out, uh, most I've heard a lot that you should take it in the morning, like with breakfast. So that's normally when I would take creatine. But when I'm using the, the power packs, like these things, like almost every creatine product says that you need to do a loading cycle, which is complete BS. Don't waste that because it says that, let's see, this says to take four packs. Oh my God. Okay. It says to take th like three or four packs for the first five days. That wipes out, there's only 30, 30 packs in this box. That wipes out like three quarters of the pack in like the first five days, which is freaking ridiculous, okay? You only need one pack right after your workout and you'll be fine, okay? Because you do get creatine from food. If you have a healthy diet, you don't need L-arginine, glutamine, creatine. You don't need all that stuff. This is just to help you to build more muscle. But you get most of your protein and all, that other, all the other nutrients that you need from your diet. So if you have a good balanced diet, you'll be just fine, okay? And plus your body produces creatine anyway. So if you go and dump too much creatine in it, your body knows how to handle it. You're just gonna piss it out, okay? You're just gonna pee it out and it's not gonna do anything for you because your body's like, okay, well I can only use so much creatine at one time. So he's giving me all this extra creatine, I don't need it, I can't store creatine in me. So it just gets rid of it, just wastes it. And then you're pissing away, literally you're pissing away 45 bucks or however much this costs. I mean, it's complete waste. So don't don't read the stupid box and listen to the stupid gimmicks that they tell you because they're just trying to get your money. They don't really care how strong you get. They just want your money so that their company can make more money. That's it. Um, so that's basically Creatine 101 for you guys. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, just leave them in the comment section or you can go on my page and comment as well. Uh, yeah. Basically, if you just have any questions or if you have any other stuff that you want to see in videos, just let me know. Just drop me a message or something that's right on my little wall on my channel, and I'll make a video for you guys. And hopefully you guys like them, and let me know. So uh, have a good day, guys. Talk to you later.